My name is Jeff, and I am the uh, basically the senior architect for the Interopnet. Uh, help design the infrastructure and lay out the project plan, this entire thing that we're seeing here. It's kind of funny because there's a lot to this network, as you have seen in some of the other videos. We have lots of infrastructure, but in some ways it condenses down to what you see in front of you right here, which is quite a large pile of equipment. For us, it's really not that much, just a few small racks. What we start with, you know, where basically the packets come in, is this little pile of equipment right here. We have two DS3s, uh, basically close enough to 100 megabit. They're coming into a pair of analyzers. Before the, the data even hits our infrastructure, we have analyzers checking that it's clean and it's good. They then feed down into these Enterosis X4 arrays. These are our what we call our external routers. They handle all the BGP. Uh, they do all the traffic flow and basically make sure that we get out of the building. From there, they flow into a firewall the McAfee firewall down the bottom here, and then back up into our N-series and Terrasus routers, which are our core internal routers. These are the guys that then feed off to the show floor and the off-show floor and everywhere else. So this is what we tend to call the external array. It's running OSPF through it, BGP on the outside. What do you do with the data that is in here? You've got all this stuff which is tapped. Why do we need it all? Well, we have not one, not two, I think we have about four intrusion detection systems. We have Enterosis' Dragon IDS, we have McAfee's IDS, uh, and then we have a few more systems over on the other side that I'll explain in a moment. The reason we're running multiple systems here is they're all designed to do things slightly differently. The Enterosis system is actually focused more on the show floor peds and the racks. Every single port is tied into the IDS, and the IDS can actually monitor down to the port level what the traffic is doing based on its feed. Uh, the key words, you know, simple, secure, redundant. Really what we're looking for here. Um, but that's it. That's the interrupt net in five racks or less.